Welcome back to Touring and Trails. It's your guy Jim and Miss Dee Dee with you again. And we got a real special one for you this week. We got the spring April Fool tear jerk gathering at Lake Bob Sandlin State Park out here in beautiful Pittsburgh, Texas. So let's go out and see what's what's going on and who all showed up. And maybe we got some pretty cool homemade campers that we can share with you. Let's go. All right, so we got our first one to check out. Chrissy and Tammy. And what is this? Let's see if we can go find out. We're gonna we're gonna sneak up on them right now. Well hello. Hi neighbors. So I gotta say, I don't know what this is. So I've seen this unique camper, and from the road, I thought I knew what it was. And once I got a little closer, I have no clue what I'm looking at. So can you tell me what it is? This? Yes, I can. It's, uh, actually, no, I can't, <laughs> right? It's not a teardrop. <laughs> it's not a pop-up camper. It's not a canned ham. It is somewhat of a hybrid between the three. What did it start out as? It started out as a pop-up camper, and up to this point, it's still a pop-up camper. Okay. But from here up, it's a canned ham slash teardrop camper. And this is your creation? This is. So you built this out of... Out of the, the <laughs> craziness inside my head, right? Uh, days and days of, of, you know, graph paper and driving people crazy, asking them what they think about how a space would work. Well, I'm really impressed with it. And it, can you tell me a little bit about the construction on the on your creation part? Certainly. Okay, so like I said, this part is original uh, camper, mm -hmm. right? So it's still metal. And then from here up, it's uh, two, by, two, or two by two spars and, and studs. And then the quarter inch plywood with what's called poor man's fiberglass, mm -hmm. which is canvas with tight bond glue. Yep. And then I put house paint. So this is just several coats of house paint. And, uh, I've seen know, a lot of them constructed that way with the poor man's fiber. Yeah. It's, and it's strong. It's it, strong and it's cost efficient. It, yes. It's something that anyone can manage. You don't have to be able to do metal work. You don't have to have any special knowledge. Right. Right. If you can run a pair of scissors and they could even be safety scissors like children use. <laughs> <laughs> Means I might be able to use that. <laughs> right. Right. So if, if you can use safety scissors and play in glue, you're not supposed to eat it, but uh, you, you can do this. And this, so it's manageable. It's very nice. How long did it take you to build this? Well, this was my COVID project. Okay. So start to finish. You know, with breaks for work and, and all those things. I worked on it for three years. Okay. Well, that's still not bad going well, in and out of work. So. Yeah. I mean, I, when, if, I, if I probably tried to count up the actual number of hours, I don't know. Maybe if, if you'd done it in nonstop, maybe three or four months. Right. Right. Uh, but there was, you know, there were stops and starts and, and there were actually reverses. Where you know you do something, change and you, course. And yeah, and you, you didn't end up like the to take something out. Sure. So you could get back to to where you really needed to to be to end up where you wanted to be. So you've you've also built another teardrop in the past, have you not? I did. I did. So you you we were talking a little earlier. You, there was a lesson that you learned on that that you changed on the back of this one, I right? Could never, I, uh, I could never get the hatch on my other teardrop to not leak. And I tried the hurricane hinges, and I've tried it, uh, doing guttering, you know, based on the, the trunks of cars. Right. And it, I, I just never could get it to not leak. So, so if you I, want it to not leak, don't make it where it won't back. open. Uh, and and I, I decided not to feel guilty about that. I read a post somewhere uh, where they were talking about teardrop campers, and they were, had a focus on a couple that had a, a traditional teardrop, but it didn't have a, a kitchen on the back. And they said, we don't cook. Right. So I decided why do I, I shouldn't feel guilty that I don't have the, the traditional pop-up pack. But you can cook. Well. Because you've got a secret little I compartment do, over I here. I have a, a way to uh, accommodate a kitchen. So this is the existing uh, cargo storage door from the camper, right? And I kept some of the original things. That, if you look down in here, you can see the original. This was This is heritage, and, and this is a... Uh, an acknowledgement of its its uh, history, right? Oh wow! So I didn't try to hide everything. No. So this is the kitchen. This right? is awesome. And so we have uh, storage underneath wow. and workspace, and 
then got up your on nice the top. countertop right that way you can put your um your hot plate up here your Absolutely. propane stove whatever you might need to use so, yeah i thought so that we would be able to cook or cut and all that and then keep our stove here if we we are primarily electric yep. but occasionally when we bring a, a gas stove we just find that the electric if we have access to it it's just easier than we don't have to worry about the wind blowing or anything like that so we have you know one got your power, power right there and i have a, a, and light a light bright enough that will bring in planes from <laughs> nice <laughs> right and so that like i said that dresses our kitchen this I, is just wonderful i didn't have i couldn't afford to buy really expensive the you know eight foot or six foot uh drawer slide right so i used unistruts Okay. And the bearings that are that are used for uh, uh, like roller skates or for skateboards, uh -huh. and that's the track. So you just have them top and bottom. Okay. So I saw a guy on, you, on YouTube that was using them for his truck bed. Oh wow! Right, he was making truck boxes. Uh huh. And I was like, well, this would work for that. And it's solid. No worries. No yeah, issues uh, at I've all. I've been told that you could probably sleep on it. Wow. <laughs> but originally, I thought I might have to put a leg under it, but I have not no, seen no need any to. indication that I need to. So that's just wonderful. So you don't have the back galley, but like I've seen on a lot of newer teardrop trailers, they're going to this slide out. I thought of this first. You <laughs> thought of it first. <laughs> we heard it here. <laughs> that's really that's really wonderful. I, I like that little added design. Yeah. But it's a beautiful trailer. And not only, we talked about this was kind of a hybrid between a teardrop and a canned ham. And the truth is, you can pretty much stand up inside. So you're gonna really be amazed with, with the inside of this. First, I like the, the vintage touches. It's got the Again, Apache. We, we acknowledge our history. Yes. And this actually, we, we bought this when we were on Route 66 in our canned, in our canned ham. Uh, we had a, a, a 65 Wildcat. Uh -huh. So I've had a teardrop and a 65 Wildcat. And so now this is, I think, where I finally found the sweet spot. Right. Or for us, anyway. But just, let's take a look inside, so. Got a very nice bed set up back here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get inside. And you can see, I can almost stand completely up, which is great. Not gonna do that in a teardrop. We're, we're, we're crouched down pretty low. It's about 5'2", I think, is where we're at. 5'2", just nice. You got a nice dinette, very nice touch with the checkerboard. The finishing touches you can see with the cabinetry. You got the vent, and then you got the, the light, super bright. You got a 12-volt outlet over here. Got the screens. Yeah, so these are trimmed down from the, as seen on TV. Yep. Yeah. And Amazon, of course, our best friend. Absolutely. Oh, this is really something special. All this, all this work they did theirself, and it's just something amazing. So, yeah, this is rattan in the corners. Okay. And then the strips are also, right, rattan. We're still struggling rattan. with those. Uh, the moisture kind of acts like it wants to make them uh, sag, so we're... We're still figuring that out. Okay, so if anybody out there has an idea to keep this rattan from sagging, let us know in the comments so we can share. The interesting thing about these windows, you said they came off of a dart bus. Right, a public transportation <laughs> bus. And uh, so these are actually turned sideways. Uh, who would have known? Right. Who would have known? And the, the door is made out of two emergency exit doors. Or really? windows. Yes. So... You'll see the seam. So the deal was, to make a door, right, you have to have the door trim and you have to have a place for it to, to lock against. Yes. Well, you don't have that on the, on the window. So, but the emergency exit windows do. Wow. Because they're designed <laughs> to open, right? So, but the hinge won't work. Okay. You know, for what you do because they're, they're restricted on how far they'll open. So anyway, so I took the, the windows apart and, and made, took two of them and made my own insert. Just amazing. No, this is really something special. I really like this one. Now, you don't have any heater AC yet, right? Not yet. Uh, uh, so over that's... here under this curtain right now is a porta potty. Okay. But that lines up with an outside access door. Okay. And oh. that's that's intentional so oh. that in the future I can mount a, a like a window unit. I can just hang it off the side. 
perfect. So it doesn't have to live inside the camper. I yep. don't have to cut a hole in the floor. You just hook it on the side of the camper and then run straps up and it, it'll stay there. That'll be perfect because we know it's going to get warm. So but we've been pretty much at this point, we, we are cool weather campers. Right. But if we decide to do that, that's what we'll do in the summer. Okay. A little view from the front. And got your view from this side. So there you have it. An Apache pop-up that has turned into a canned ham trailer. I just think it's just a wonderful job. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we really appreciate you sharing this and hope you join us with some nice food this afternoon. You're making food. pulled pork. Pulled pork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But thank you for uh, coming by. It's, it's always validating to have someone appreciate you, you know what you've done that Excellent. you weren't just totally insane <laughs> oh no <laughs> we'll catch you next time thank you so you're wondering what really goes on at a tearjerker event well, let's take a look everybody say hi. hi that's a great crowd so we're gonna chow down here in a few minutes so i'll catch you here in a few actually for Robert and Shannon, just to let you know what you're missing. We know you planned on being here though, we're just kidding with you, but it was quite a turnout. Great food. Thanks for everybody. Well, good morning. And what a beautiful one it is. Last morning with the Tear Jerkers, April Fool's camping event. Getting that last pot of coffee going. A little bittersweet because I really don't want to leave this place. I mean, what a beautiful place we've stayed at. And the group has just been wonderful. Can't believe how many people showed up. Had a great dinner with everybody and even had some wonderful entertainment. So we're going to take a final tour around this loop and let you see everybody's camper. Well, we're wrapping up a great weekend of camping with the Lone Star Tear Jerkers chapter. And here once again with DJ. DJ, you got some final words on what has been a wonderful weekend? It's been great. The turnout was much better than I expected. We thought we might have some folks cancel because of the weather. But I guess we had enough hardcore folks that decided, I've got rain gear and I can get inside the, the camper or underneath the awning or whatever but we had just one cancellation and one maybe that just want to come up and see our tears that didn't show but other than that 14 members and two guests it was an outstanding showing 
and as folks were saying hey thanks for bringing uh, having all this fun here and I said well I just set a location y'all brought the fun so please keep that in mind bring some entertainment board games whatever you want to do I mean I'm not trying to hurt anybody into any particular ideas or anything just do what you want to do don't want to do anything don't hike bike kayak commune with nature hey see you next time I hope that's what it's really all about the club is for all of us get out here have a good time and be with some folks that really enjoy doing the same thing that you like doing so thanks again DJ You're we'll see you and we're gonna see you in June Yipper. all right thanks it's hard to leave a campsite like this just so nice right on the water but life is a journey not a destination so it doesn't end here right we got to keep going and keep going we will every Thursday new video new destination cuz we're not stopping this streak's gonna continue we're gonna keep exploring and bringing it right into your home so coming up I think it's time to get out of state again where are we gonna go I can't tell you you gotta wait for Thursday my CTV Thursday right <laughs> anyhow thanks for joining us it's been a great weekend this is a lot of fun if you have an opportunity to enjoy a group like this, tear jerkers or tiny trailer groups in your local area, give it a shot. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun. This, this little group, the Lone Star Group, has really grown. You know, it started with DJ just going basically by himself, and then we showed up, and then a few others showed up, and now we got something really special. But you're just around a lot of like-minded people with the same passion. Doesn't matter if you built it or if you bought it or if it's even a teardrop. It could be some kind of variation or even a tent. It really doesn't matter. It's all about the fun and coming out and hanging around with the group. So with that, thank you for watching. I appreciate the new subscribers. Give us a thumbs up, like, share, hit that notification bell, all the good bells and whistles, right? And we will see you yeah, you, down the road.